Hey there guys and welcome to the beginning of a new series. I am joined with Will and Mojo as always and we're going to be playing with our, uh, our train sets as it were. Hello. Yep. So what we're doing here and I have kind of mentioned this series a little bit briefly um, a few times uh, before now but we're, we're going to be essentially creating a, a train set. So we have probably the largest model list we've had yet. Um, I don't even remember all of them but there's like creative mode, asphalt roads, um, another rail, naked rails mod, um, speed limits mod, and probably most importantly, the train coupler mod, um, and then decatorio as well. Uh, so essentially, the best way I can think to explain the general concept is just imagine like model railroading, railroading um, in Factorio, is we're going to try to create like real life situations, real life scenery, um, and just essentially create a train set. Yeah, so we're not really playing Factorio, we're just following the game to make a train set. Yeah, exactly. So, um, yeah. so yeah, we're on just a trains. test map here. Yeah, just trains. <laughs> and um, scenery. We're on a, and scenery. We're on a test map, and this is not the map we're actually going to be doing the series on, but we're here to give you a preview of kind of what our goal is and what it uh, will look like, rather than just starting off building mainline for 20 minutes. Um, so... Mojo and Will have pretty much uh, solely created this map themselves, and you guys get to explain it because I don't actually know what's really going on in this map yet. Okay. Uh, let's let this um, train pulling in now that came in quite timely actually explain yeah. it uh, for us. Yeah, if we hop aboard these wagons. So we're going to pretend that this is an iron outpost. Well, it is an iron outpost. We've just been dropped off by what we're calling the hauler train, which is the blue one that's behind us. We've just been uh, delivered as empty from the iron smeltery. We're now being picked up by the shunter train, this little PAX train in front of us. And we're going to be taken over to the drills, where effectively we was in the stacker, as, as you would call it. Right. So we're going to go and get loaded up with more ore now. And in real life, they would the train wouldn't really stop. It would just go over uh, under a conveyor belt and it would just pour it in from the top but we can't load the train while it's on the move in Factorio so we're simulating it by having it load a couple of wagons at a time move forward load a couple more and uh, for test purposes we're just using like one or two stacks so yeah um, loaded up. server not responding and um, also you'll notice that the train was moving a lot slower than normal and that is due to the uh, speed uh, limit sign mod where we can actually limit the speed uh, set max speeds on rails uh, to kind of simulate realism yeah uh, a lot of the time we will uh, not have the train be pushed by the locomotives it will be pulled and the train will run around as it's called and go to the other end but we have decided that f to keep it um, a little simplistic for ourselves we are going to have the trains push in some cases, but we're not going to push on the main line. So right now, our little shunter is going to push us back into the stacker, mm -hmm. which is... They would do that. They'd have a guy, oh, you, exterminator, stood on the other end on the radio to the driver because he can't see the front of the train. Mm -hmm. And we're going to have it move slowly because of that. Right. So now that we're full with iron ore, we're going to get dropped back into a pickup siding. Our shunter has let go of us and we've been abandoned. He's going to go off back to his shed and wait for more empties. And we just sit here and wait to get picked up. I think there's one coming now. Yep. Here comes another batch of empties by the hauler who will obviously he's twice the size. He's a lot more powerful. He will be taking us down the main line. The little shunters never actually leave the yard. Right. Um... And while we wait, another thing to mention is you'll notice we do have also Factorizimo installed as well as warehousing. And what we're using Factorizimo for actually is, uh, you, you, you two had really good ideas. To use it as kind of like little like circuit control um, houses. You know, like all the circuitry and controls for the train tracks and switches and stuff would be, you know, like in a little, uh, I don't want to say house, like, you know, S a little signal box. Yeah, signal box. So we're using that to kind of simulate that. So all the smarts we may have will be in the factory Zemo building instead of like laid out across the ground and then we'll just have you know some lights in front of it or something 
yeah, I, I figured the lights might make like a code like uh, I one or something that just means I and outpost one, and mm-hmm. and that'll be that building's code reference or whatever for any bigger smart system that we do. Right. Um, now, this train is this train going to pick us up? This eventually hauler. Yeah, that one that's just above us. He's going to go back to his home where he refueled and then he get new orders. Quite a busy end. And... Okay, so he's heading down the main line. No, that, yeah, so the other hall has just arrived as well, but the other one should leave almost straight away. Let's go wait for this train to get out of the way now. Yeah. And... We intentionally made it quite busy here to test the breaking point of our track right. infrastructure. Mm-hmm. And, uh, and to be clear, you know, this may not seem entertaining. We're not going to actually, like, be sitting waiting on every train. We're going to be building it. So, you know, we're not going to have to necessarily sit here for this time in, in the actual series. This is just kind of for a demonstration of what will happen. Yeah, we're following the life of a wagon because it will change locomotives maybe several times. And its job may change as well. Yeah, that is. Yeah, that too. So we have a nice little crossing here, even with the lights that change when a train goes by. Yep. We're working on getting a sound for it. Oh, nice. Yep. And then he comes over here, which would be what, like the smelter? Yeah, this is just simulating an iron smelter, but here it will show the train um, turning around. So to get around the other end, rather than being double-headed or loop-based, this is almost a, a different, a third style. Because they are double-headed trains, part up against each other, but they go mm -hmm. on one end of the train rather than split both ends like the conventional double headed. And what he's right, doing is right. just running around, as it's called, you'll hear us say that quite a lot. He's going to run around the wagons, get mm -hmm. on the other end, and then haul back the way he came. Right. Um, and then. So in the actual series, uh, are, are we planning to have just simulated places like this or actually have production actually have production right way through i'd say all, all seven science packs maybe maybe not military um but yeah have an actual lab set up running we've got the spacex mod just for the labs to have something to do mm -hmm. uh but it's not about the fit the factory being efficient or you know it doesn't get enough iron plate if it is lacking we might see if we can add another train but it's not about having the factories running at any sort of speed. There's no like science pack goal. It's the goal is not to have the trains deadlock. Have all, all all it running as we want it without us having to intervene and Right. Uh so this is just kinda continue to do the same thing, so yeah. maybe we'll head farther down the main line. Yeah. The the other just one last thing is like this bit here is the main line. This whole thing is happening to itself so if you're riding a train going down the main line you could go past this and this would just be happening off to the side yeah exactly oh you there's already you know there's some other trains going up and down you may have seen and they're just completely independent of of that whole outpost mm -hmm. now, this one's got a bit of scenery work done to it we've done that just while we were waiting um, this is a military train that has absolutely no purpose. Uh, it's just on its way down the line. It's actually the cooler one of the two. Another mod um, that we've got that does absolutely nothing for the game. It's just for rule of call. Here it comes yep, now. Here we go. The military train. Should actually be pretty familiar, actually, the tank uh, wagon. Yeah, the uh, vehicle wagons. Yep. Vehicle wagon, yep. And all it does is just run around, attach on the other end, go back up go back the other way and it does the same on the other end there's also another train that we've got on this with cars we're just gonna have them going up and down the line occasionally just because they look cool and mm -hmm. yep. yep and Sweet. moving on stern be careful yeah i already died once <laughs> in creative mode i might add that's because i didn't have my special bubble wrap suit on <laughs> now 
this is a uh, my favorite part. Yeah, this is the best one. This has been much more uh, detailed and scenery added and stuff like that. Oh yeah. Now all this is is an oil out. It's simulating an oil outpost. All the train does is it comes in, the locomotive goes around the other end, and then goes back the way it came. And it loops around the track and comes back again to us. So, it, technically very simple, but this is to show the sort of thing, the scenery that we're going for. Yeah, exactly. And I mean, you can, you know, it's just, it's just like the little details. You know, when they first showed me this map, that I was just noticing stuff constantly, like. You know, there's obviously a parking lot and stuff, but then you look further and it's like, oh yeah, there's like these little board crossings and then across the um, road uh, is the naked rail, which, you know, it's obviously realistic. You don't have all the ties and stuff going over a road in real life. It's yep. at least like level with it. Yeah. And the lights flashing when the train goes through. The only thing we haven't got for an accurate level crossing is a gate to... Yeah, the, we haven't found a mod yet that actually has a, a rail crossing gate. Yep. Um, and this, yeah, the road markings are UK accurate. Yeah, so, I mean, yeah, UK accurate, uh, you know, US maybe not, but the general concept applies. It's not super important. Yeah. You know, you, you get the idea. Um, yeah. And then just, you know, little details, like a little, you know, car parked over here for like the maintenance or the control circuit uh, circuit box guy yeah um, and the circuits inside the factorismo this time yeah yeah they are so, yep they're actually i think in. all it does at the moment is the level crossing but it has plenty of space in there to do any other sort of smarts mm -hmm. um got some trucks and cars going across on along the road we're going to work on a mod that allows us to have them colored because if i jump in this one obviously it goes yellowy and jump in one it'll go blue yeah so we just want to have them all different colors mm -hmm. uh and then i noticed above we also have the bucket wheel excavator mod yep. just for some more you know level of detail and stuff these big bucket excavators yep we're going to use that on the mining outpost instead of the factory drills Mm -hmm. This guy's eaten, almost eaten the entire patch. These guys go quick. <laughs> there was a, um, a patch in, under this thing originally. Yeah, the, these mine super, super quick. Um, So then, you know, just coming back down, there's like, you know, like a little warehouse over here and some like little storage sheds down at the bottom and, you know, some like old broken down rail. Yep. This down was, here looks like it was a siding that used to be something but they've abandoned it and it's not needed anymore it starts off okay yeah and then just kind of dies um and then chain link fence as well obviously to keep people like me off the rails <laughs> and uh, does nothing yeah that doesn't really help me uh but you know more storage and stuff this is just kind of the idea we're going for all the little details the little you know hazard crossings here and there and the different uh, textures of the ground and uh, there's obviously a lot more to add to like there's so many things you can do with asphalt roads and the decatorio that we haven't done yet oh yeah yeah um and like over here we've got a siding with some wagons in it that does nothing just there to show that you know some looks like at some point they had some extra wagons and they just parked them up They've mm -hmm. been here ever since. We did exactly. Have train. This train above us is spare. It doesn't do anything. We did have him just parked up. Then I was like, "Hey, I've got an idea. Let's just have him go back and forth." So all he does is drive to over here. He waits here for a bit and then goes back the other side. And that's all he does for no reason. Right, but it's it's movement. It adds to it. Yep, and it's very easy to set up and. It just means that if you're going past, like, if you was on that iron train above us, mm -hmm. you might see movement more often. Right. Uh, I guess we should also point out as well that we are using creative mode for our items. So we don't have a starter base, as it were. But the labs will all be running legit from mining drill right the way through to lab. 
Yeah, exactly. So um, it's like actually crafted and that by assembly machines. But it's just if we need more railway track, we can just get more railway track. Yeah, we don't have to, you know, run that, halfway across the map to get it or whatever. Yeah, like I said, we're not playing Factorio, we're just using the game. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, so then, kind of moving on, we actually have a bit of a, a mock-up of, well, there's like this massive area up here and then a little circuit outpost it looks like you guys have set up. Yeah. Oh, and this sort of thing as well on the main line. This is a... Um... We started making like a warehousey type area, so we're going to make all like cities and stuff where we can across the uh, main line. Yep, exactly. So we're gonna there's some sort of shady deal going on around the back here. Yeah, <laughs> trading science for arms. <laughs> arms, yeah. <laughs> Pretty awesome. Uh... Oh, we run out of road, Dan contractors. Yeah, great. I ran out of tea. <laughs> now this, I love this. This, this is my favorite, almost my favorite part because I like didn't notice it at first. We were riding a train when I first noticed it, and we were going across here, and I was just like, "Whoa, hold up a second. There's green water," and I'm like, "Oh, that's cool." And then I look further, and I'm like, "Wait, they're pumping sulfuric acid into the water, <laughs> and that's why it's green." <laughs> <laughs> and it's just like the little details like this that just add to it. Yeah. It's, it's just it's so simple. It's just a tank of acid and an underground pipe that looks like it's dumping. And it's like, you can't dump acid in the, into a lake yeah. like this. <laughs> but we're doing it anyway. Yeah. And then, and then uh, we... the, the, they needed to build a railway line, but they don't clean up the mess they've made. They just bridge over it. And we're using the... Um, uh, the the yeah. little bridge mod that you spotlighted. Yeah. It looks so cool. It does look really nice. And um, with Dectoria, we can also change the land. So this is a desert patch. But mm -hmm. the uh, the green acid and sludge or whatever is soaking into the land as well. So it's created this marshy area. And it's just... Yeah, exactly. I mean, it's just those little, little details. details. And I mean, if we wanted to even, you could add... I mean, not here, but for example, you saw we tried to do it earlier. You could have, like, dump tracks here like that. Mm -hmm. And just, like, you know, simulate the fact they're also dumping, like, used up uranium or something into here. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, we're, it's, it's all about the detail, the small, fine detail. Mm-hmm. So, and then now we get into this complicated... What, what, what is this? <laughs> um, yeah. Major, help. <laughs> Um, how about we get aboard this thing and just very quickly and then see where we go. Uh, so this is a circuit factory. Um, as you can tell with every build, we get more and more ambitious. And yeah, so this is now the same thing, just scaled up again. And so it's the same deal, deal again. So we got, uh, the little shunter It's painted blue this time to signify iron. And you see there's actually a copper shunter down there as well. Um, the dedicated iron and copper, because of the limitation in the train orders, uh, you can't have them switch around easily. And right. so, just like uh, with previously, now unloading uh, into some warehouses, which is just a way of... Uh, it's, and then this is all simulating circuit factory. Is that yeah, and the circuit just, factory is actually in the factory, as you know. Yeah. Yeah, it's just a mock up I made just to make circuits. Mm hmm. And we put a lot more care and attention into the actual build and making it look like a real factory area, a warehousey complex with train sidings and that that unload into it. But right. We were more to test the, if we could have how, how, how complicated, how big we could go with this sort of system. And it worked quite well. Yeah, so all this is doing is essentially getting the iron and copper into it, but using all the shunters and the coupling mod and stuff. Yeah, and it's got a speed limit signs in as well, and it's got a bit of scenery, but not to the level that the oil outpost had, because that took entirely too long. But, this but is it was the... fun, right? Oh, yeah. Yeah, so, and we could spend, so, so honestly, we could probably 
do this until 016, just because there's like so much little details we can add. Yeah. And also, if um, if chat or YouTube has got any ideas about little scenery scenarios or stuff to put in or and that, then let us know because we've got a lot of mainline to cover. And... Yeah, exactly. Let us know and even... Uh, if you want to make something of your own, uh, prefer, you know, using obviously the mods we use, um, then, you know, you can make a blueprint of it and we'll import the blueprint, stuff like that. If you have ideas for, you know, little scenes that are happening and stuff like that, like Will said. Yeah. Or, or, automating the scenery. There we go. Yeah. <laughs> See ya. Oh, bye then. So we're empty now. Oh, we're leaving? Okay. I don't know. <laughs> Yeah, you want to watch I, the instead of going around and ref, refilling, or watch the um, the entrance, the input line. So we were just in the um, the empty yard, empties yard, and so we were on an iron plate train. But there's nothing to say that a copper train can, uh, a copper hauler train can pick up the iron plate wagons. And if you actually go around enough, eventually you'll switch between the two. Interesting. Okay. Yeah, so the locomotives so, always have the same jobs. They're either iron or copper, but the wagons are uh, completely changeable. I think the best way of yeah. describing it would be uh, empty oil barrels. That whole system where an oil barrel could be crude one minute, then it's heavier next because it just gets filled, transported, right. emptied, put back to public use. Mm -hmm. And it goes around again. Yeah, exactly. Um... Yeah, and then also something else I just thought of in addition, if uh, if there's any, like in the YouTube comments or in your chat, um, if there's any modders that have ideas for something that would go good with this and you want to make a mod, definitely go for it and we'll we'll use it if we like it. You know, the Naked Rails mod is uh, someone in your chat, I believe, made that uh, for yeah, us. Yeah, shout out to Made of Tin who made that for us. Awesome. Yeah, and it, it's really great. I mean, even that alone adds quite a bit. Yeah, for that level crossing, it really makes it look better. Mm -hmm. so, uh, so, yeah, stuff like that. Definitely open to suggestions and uh, designs and stuff like that. And then, you know, this is just the beginning. Like we said, you know, there's so much more we can add, and this is only essentially up to circuits. <laughs> so, <laughs> there's a yeah. lot. There's a lot to do, yeah. We we'll, we'll start off with some just simple stuff, and then... I can imagine by the end it's going to get stupidly complex because we want to do some mixed trains as well. For example, uh, like purple science, we're going to go and collect like uh, the yellow engines and lubricant and circuits, and then make the red engines at purple science. But also maybe pick up iron and circuits to make the assembly machine ones and. So there's oh, just be this train with all these different wagons that goes round, collecting mm -hmm. all the bits that it needs. Yeah, that's going to get pretty complicated. Oh yeah, uh, someone in your chat just said add helicopter mod. Yeah, we do plan to do that already, uh, I think. We just I haven't forgot. yet. I forgot. I knew there was something else. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I've got, I've got a mods list as well on Dropbox. It's in my chat, exclamation mark mods. We've posted in the YouTube description. If you want to look yeah. at what we've got, because it's the biggest list I've ever had for mods. Mm -hmm. This is us doing a modded playthrough. There you go. But if, yeah, there you go. <laughs> if you want a modded playthrough? Here you go. There's like 15 mods. Mm -hmm. So uh, I think that pretty much covers it. Just to give you guys a basic idea of you know what what we're going for, what it might look like, and uh, kind of an introduction. And then you know the next episode we will uh, actually be on the actual map, the, the new map, and uh, and building the main line and, and actually starting out like that. Cool. Alright, do you, okay. you guys have anything else to add for this? Uh, don't forget to bring your bubble wrap suit with you. Oh yeah. I, I, changed, I changed it out for my speed suit, but I think that's getting a little dangerous in here. <laughs> <laughs> I also just Fine. happened to notice that hauler with the green wagon, it still zooms in here, ignoring yeah. all the speed signs. Yeah, it's me. I, I we have a road. <laughs> yeah, he's driving himself. <laughs> yeah, that's We've checked and will. checked. Speed signs are all there, but it just ignores it. That one train. Definitely sounds like Will. <laughs> I totally didn't train that driver. Oh, God. Please don't train anymore. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> what a disaster. <laughs> right, just look at this. There's like four or five trains on the move at the same time here. Mm -hmm. On one screen. Yeah, which is just super cool. Um, but I think we're going to leave the ep <laughs> so, so there. Great ending. Thanks for watching, guys. Damn, Damn it all to hell. I swear that was not on purpose. This lag, Mojo, this is your fault. <laughs> uh. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoy. You can look forward to more of that as well. And uh, leave your thoughts, ideas, and stuff down below. And we will see you in the next episode. See you, guys. <laughs> yeah.